that here pretty soon. But back to what I was telling you. Last night uh, was D minus three, zero two hundred. Uh, we put 200 Marines and uh, Afghan soldiers uh, in, in Marjorie. Uh, they got in there. They got in there safely. The helos lifted off by about, we got our second wave in by about 0350. And by 04, Karzai will be briefed on this operation today. And uh, we're hoping that uh, he is uh, he's not going to do anything uh, to stop the operation. All right. This is the last freaking sanctuary that these guys have. Okay? You translate uh, as, as we're going here. Marja is the last spot where the enemy feels safe. The last spot where the enemy feels secure. We change that in a hurry. Again, we started last night. The first, uh, the first big move. As you guys know. Okay. Go ahead. Marja is the center of the engine. He's going to do this. All right, who's that squad leader answer? Go ahead. Come here. I got one for you, too. Huh? My squad. My squad's good to go. We're ready to go, sir. You train them? Of course, sir. You proud of them? Yes, sir. They're ready? Ready, sir. What keeps you up? How many will stay and fight? We don't know. 25 opportunities to attract people out of Marja to really say, hey, come meet the Marines. Come meet the guys that are going to come into your neighborhood. Every one of these 12 guys who are supposed to be the most prominent, powerful guys in Marjorie. Every one of them said, hey, hurry up. Right? Okay. We have a population that when they vote, when they decide they're going to support us there, good things happen. All up and down the Hellman River Valley today, things that are happening. The shops that are coming back where there was never any shops. The progress in the area. Okay. There's a drumbeat. There's a momentum that's irrefutable. You can't deny it. There are things occurring here that, that, are, that are good. There's a hell of a lot of goodness going on because guys.